Today we're going to be testing the RAM for our computer build. First you're going to have to get a thumb drive. Then go to memtest86.com. Make sure you are at memtest86.com. This is how you know you're in the right place because you should see the RAM head. And look, memtest86. And also you know you're in the right place because all down here, this is the application startup screen. First you need to go to the download section. Then you don't want to purchase the Memtest 86 Pro because then you're going to be paying money. So you scroll down to here which says Windows Downloads. Then you get the image for creating bootable USB drive. This is the medium that we're using for our boot drive. Make sure this drive is empty. When you download this, you're going to be downloading a zip file. Right now, the zip file that you have on your computer is small, but we're going to expand it on the USB thumb drive so that it's so small. It's going to be bigger than that. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to open up this thumb drive and show you what's inside. See? See? All of this. When we plug this USB drive into the other computer, it'll already recognize it as a bootable drive. All right, let's go. We're gonna need a keyboard, so we use this SciTech Eclipse keyboard, and you plug it in over here. We have a USB keyboard, so we are gonna be plugging this into a USB 2.0 slot. Since our thumb drive is also USB 2.0, we are going to be plugging it in right over the keyboard slot. And yeah, we have our keyboard plugged in. And let's turn on the power supply and short out the pins. I mean, yay, it worked! You'll notice that there is a countdown on the screen. And then this will boot up. We did two out of four tests and our pass rate was 97% with no errors. We showed you this screen because we already did the test. We did this test for 10 hours, but it might take longer for you. Our memory passed the test, so that means we have good RAM. That means we can move forward with the build and load the operating system. Once you're done, hit escape and this should come up. Then hit the number two. Test complete. Press any key to continue. Space bar! This screen tells you about your errors. We don't have any, so we're gonna move on. Let's do L. No errors, yippee! We're gonna turn this off by grounding the same pins that we used to turn this on. There, it's off. That's it for testing the RAM. And if your RAM passes, then you can continue building your computer. <coughs> <laughs> make sure to join us when we put the operating system in here and make this thing a real computer. Be like, subscribe, and be comments down below. Thank you.